I am Amanda Hickson. I'm the owner and editor of Bohemia Magazine. And I'm super excited about bringing this beautiful magazine to everybody in Central Texas. It features the most gorgeous photography and um, artists and writing of the very talented people that I believe in here in Central Texas. And I believe that their work and their art should be um, should be given to the world. And just get as many people to support the arts and the the writers and the photographers and the artists in Waco so that um, Waco and Central Texas so that um, people know that we have a voice here and we have a cohesive voice here that um, deserves to be celebrated and that is kind of what the idea of Bohemia is is um, Bohemia is um, artist community and so I feel like if there is a vibrant artist community, then it, it's more possible for the artists here to be celebrated. The November issue, um, I looked at the November issue for the first time today, and um, there's always a little moment right before you look at it for the first time that you're scared because you don't know what it's going to look like. And um, as soon as I saw it, it was absolutely beautiful. And this is our beautiful November issue. Um, it features a photograph by Stephen Rood and um, this is a rough draft of our issue. We're at a proofing party right now so there's even stuff on this on this rough draft that's not exactly correct yet. Boho Digs, we've decided to do a uh, every single issue we're gonna have a um, home interior where, where someone has a particularly bohemian house where they collect art and this and that and then we're gonna have Boho Threads which is going to be beautiful um, fashion photography, which fashion photography is an art form in and of itself. And then these are two of our fiction pieces that are in the, in the issue. One of the stories is called Hidden Treasures, and one of the stories was called Healing Gardens, but after an edit and a rewrite is actually called um, Magic in the Roses. So we're going to have to change the cover. So there's already we already found a mistake on the cover, and we're going to fix it. And then as you open it up, and like I said, this is just the rough draft and we're working on editing it, but um, uh, this is Sterling's ad and we're working on it. This is the, an old table of contents, so disregard that. And we're basically making sure that all the beautiful pictures are credited and um, that the, the stories are in place where they're supposed to be. Um, there was an art piece that was going to illustrate this story and it, it somehow got lost in the process but that's what this is for that's what this meeting is for is for us to say oh yeah where was that where was that piece of art that we had drawn for this poem and so we're going to make sure that gets in there and um, just just making sure that all that here's a piece of fiction and that's what we're all about is poetry and fiction and art and photography mostly but the model Jenna Willard is a photographer she had that camera and offered to bring it um, the motivation was to get a fall feeling to the issue, document some fall colors and some fall fashions, uh, which she had in her closet ready to go. Not only, Stephen discovered our magazine, as much people discover our magazine, they are just online or they read in the paper about it or they saw it on a stand somewhere and they liked what they saw and he was one of our submissions and we are based we are submission based magazine so he was someone that submitted his work to me and I was going through the the portfolio that he submitted to me and he had particularly um, picked out pictures that he felt went with our theme, which is what other people that want to submit to our magazine should do. Uh, I take pictures to try and make sense of this crazy world, and uh, here in Waco, um, I try and document the current situation. Say that a picture's worth a thousand words. How many words is your picture worth? Uh, hopefully it's just one. It should be, wow. You know, but and I have a few of those shots, hopefully, at some point in my career. I mean, I don't know if I have any right now, but I'm, I'm always hoping that I'll get one. One shot, that there'll only be one word for it. Wow, that's it. I've actually been drawing since I was uh, 12. I think it's probably more of a only child syndrome, where all the friends are busy and you need something to occupy yourself and so I started drawing and ironically enough I, I started drawing by sticking my tennis shoes on the kitchen table 
and recreating shoes that I thought I might want. Uh, and I started tracing. Uh, so I taught myself kind of how to draw and it just kind of exploded from there. And I do uh, basically photo realism. I try to make things, do a lot of portrait drawing. I try to make them look exact and precise. It's the kind of control about it that I think I like. <clears throat> and I get that a lot with the photography that I do too controlling situations, trying to see, measure up what needs to be done, what's going to look the best, what's going to be the most effective or the most uh, eye-catching or awe-inspiring. Um, so that's really what I like to do. Uh, I really like to be around other artists. Um, I grew up with some artist friends and it was just the best time because we could just be ourselves and goofy and natural and there was just an explosion of ideas and it was just a never-ending flow and it's just a lot of fun to get around other people who are creative and who have that same drive and that same passion uh, to do things uh, that you know might inspire someone else or might provoke a feeling or thought from somebody else and it's just, it's just really fun. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting into uh, filmmaking next. Hello, my name's Nan, and I'm a writer and illustrator and t-shirt maker for Bohemia. And um, I, uh, I'm very excited to be a part of Bohemia because I believe it encourages creative growth in the Waco area. And we can definitely uh, uh, show other people in Texas that, that Waco does have like a thriving creative community, um, just like any, any other city. Uh, my name is Autumn and I write poetry and I do face art and do some photography. I am Mandy. I am blogging for Bohemia and I got got started with it because I was looking for a community of writers again and found one, so that's good. Uh, my background is in poetry and in writing and editing. Do it commercially and just for fun. And uh, so it's just a real joy to find other people to <laughs> write and edit and bounce stuff back and forth with. I do poetry mostly. I do some narrative. Um, just really exploring different characters and different um, scenes and emotions. I look for things in everyday life that I can write about for the blog, whether it's an experience of mine, usually something artistic, um, a band I just heard, something of that nature. I'm Kayla Hawk, and I'm a staff writer. So I write short stories. Personally, I'm actually working on a couple novels that I'm working on, so I hope to do that in the future. But right now, I'm working with Bohemia. What do you hope for the magazine? What is your goal? Uh, just to get more people to read it. It's really, really an awesome thing. Thing. I'm really excited I got into it. Um, I love Amanda and the staff. It's just an amazing opportunity that I never thought I would get to do. And I really want a lot more people to just get involved and, and be able to read it and be able to be touched by a lot of things that people write. Hi, I'm Jim. I'm uh, an English instructor at MCC. And uh, Amanda's a former student of mine. And uh, when she asked me if I'd help her with a magazine, there's no way I could say no. And uh, I sort of do whatever Amanda wants. I, I write, I'm on the blog, I assist, I'm assistant editor, um, I, I run to the post office, whatever it is that she needs. And it's really a lot of fun, I can't believe it. Uh, when she first asked me, I thought, oh, it's going to be a fun thing, but uh, actually it's really turning into something quite special, and there's nothing like it in, this, in all of Central Texas. So I really hope that we can make a go of this and, uh, uh, you know, give artists and writers and photographers uh, a venue for their for their art in this in this area. I'm done. I'm done. Well, you're having a great time. Huh? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Didn't he have his own show? <laughs> you see that? Look, that's trademarked. You can't do it. You can't do that. But you can't show that to anyone. I'm serious. I'll come to your house and I'll kill you. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm Ooh, Kayla I'm... again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mean that dive. I thought you were going to ask me questions. <laughs> Kayla, um, okay. you I don't... Do I need to look at my interviewer? <laughs> no, no. I'm going to interview you a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, no. You have written two pieces for the upcoming issue. One of them is a fiction and one of them is a nonfiction. It was an interview. Yes. Which one did you prefer? Oh, that's hard. Are you more of an interview and write a story type of person? No. Or are you more of a fiction? I actually 
I, I love, because I love writing anyway, I've written since I was 13, um, but that's the first time I've really actually written an interview for anybody, and I really love that too. You enjoy so it? So I'm kind of, kind of finding both that what I really like. What about the process did you enjoy? Just you know, meeting somebody new that I never, I mean, in a million years would have met her any other way. I mean, except for the connection. And she was such I mean, sweet, delightful person. And I mean, we pretty much just sat and rapped for about, you know, an hour and a half. And then I got to know a lot more. And her, I mean, her stuff is so awesome and amazing. Yeah, and so, she's an artist. She interviewed a woman named Courtney Woodliffe, who's a, a, a local artist here in the community. And she has some beautiful stuff. And we're really happy to be able to um, publicize her work. Um, a lot of people that we, Bohemia can't really offer people along the lines of salaries or, you know, big prizes or bonuses for us publishing their work. But what we can do is offer an audience and an ear. And I know that as a poet, I have always been looking for someone you, you create. If you're an artist, you create in order to find an audience. And so what we're offering people is the opportunity for thousands of people to see their work. And that is really what an artist is looking for, is to communicate. And if there's no one on the other side of that communication, the communication didn't happen. So we're offering them the opportunity to communicate their art to other people, so. <laughs> Uh, can I ask you about the uh, things on your sweater? Like, is that a that? Is that for writers? Do they have that stuff there? Is that like for your papers well, or what? Like, this you got a whole is bunch for of my hair. Okay, that's good. If it's ever in my face, mm -hmm. which I actually don't use it, so I don't know why I keep it anyway. The other thing is because at my superhero day job. I have to file for lawyers, and I usually take the clips off and just stick them all over me and just hope that I let go of them later. And obviously, I missed one. So. Well, I, I, I suggest that when you guys put pictures of y'all's self in the magazine, that you have tons of those clips all over you. By the way, all of the writers and artists and photographers also are models as well for the magazine. <laughs> Not, not all of them. You are a model too. You presented every issue. <laughs> what? Well, I just like to gather words. I mean, from my memories and from things I've read and places I've been and people I know and, you know, and then just kind of reassembling them into something new. Me too. And I've been doing it for a really long time, but the only audience I've ever had is me and my cat and my dog. So Amanda came along and she's given me an audience and I just can't even begin to tell anybody how important that is to me and that's why I said before that I'll do whatever Amanda wants. <laughs> I think we all say yes. Hey, yes. <laughs> Can't say Amanda. no to Amanda. Uh, yeah. Amanda, you want a cup of coffee with cream and sugar please? <laughs> <laughs> that's a correct. Oh that one's cute. That one too. She, okay, she said she didn't have pictures for this. There were pictures in that file for this. So I need to get those to her. That looks so good. Because I was worried because...